in and I want to attempt these mirror cakes and galaxy cakes that I've seen everywhere on Pinterest. So it's time to truly put it to the test, uh, except this time I put a little bit of a twist to it and I'm going to be doing donut galaxy cakes. So check it out with me, let's find out if it's going to work, finger crossed, and let's see what's going to happen. To make the lovely yummy donuts, these are the ingredients that you're going to need. So first thing I did was grab the flour, baking powder, and the salt and blended them all together. Once that's ready, put that bowl on the side and then grab a second bowl. So then you're going to be adding sugar and egg. Woohoo! It did not fall apart, the shell at least. So anyway, so blend that together and then you know when you add eggs, you know you got to add vanilla extract into the recipe. So add that in, blend it really well. And once you're done, then you want to start pouring in the whole milk. So slowly add it in a portion at a time. And add in the oil. Mix, mix, mix. And once that's done, you are ready to add in the flour part or the first part that we created. So same thing, I just added small portions at a time because I did not want a flour cloud going around in the kitchen. So just mix that in really well until you get kind of like a pancake kind of mix or a feel of it. Once your donut batter is ready, it's time to scoop it into a piping bag because this is going to make it so much easier once we start pouring it into the donut pan. But if you can't find one, no worries. There's ways around it. You can just simply create a regular cake and then just grab circular molds. Simple. So using the baking spray, I sprayed that right across because you don't want your donut sticking and then just pipe away the donut batter. Once that's ready, you want to place it into the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes or at least until it gets that goldenish color. Now to make the infamous mirror icing, we're going to need cold water, some gelatin and then mix that together until you kind of have like an applesauce kind of feel and then put that on the side. So in a separate saucepan, you want to put water, oil, cornstarch, sugar and then blend that all together and place it onto the oven for about 15 minutes until it starts boiling like that and then just take it off the oven. So now you're ready to put the gelatin back into the saucepan as well as add the condensed milk. Blend, blend, blend. And then you're ready to pour it over some white chocolate. Mm -mm. You see that where this is going, right? So once the white chocolate is nice and melted, you want to pour it into separate bowls depending on how many colors of donuts you want to make. So I chose five in this case. To make the galaxy look, you want to mix and match different colors. And at first I blended the green and blue, or you can add in the purple, black, and blue together. Or you can simply mix just one color at a time and make the cute little pink. So now that the donuts are done, you're ready to dip them into the icing and then place it over to cool down a bit. And I had to make the famous pink Simpsons cookies. Don't they remind you of the Simpsons? Mm -mm. So to add more of that galaxy feel, I got some edible sparkles, sprinkled that with my fingers and it added that nice little galaxy touch to it. And that's it. I love how these donuts turned out. They have that perfect shine or mirror to it as well as the galaxy touch in it. And the donuts tasted fabulous. Just really good. So check it out. I give it a thumbs up for Pinterest. Check it out yourself. Test it out and let me know how it worked out with you. And don't forget to comment down below if you want me to test out anything for you guys. And don't forget that nice little subscribe button right over there to watch more tutorials like this. See you all later.